What's going on guys? Just doing a quick, uh, quick tutorial on white balance using Lightroom 3. A lot of times people are confused about, they're not too sure if, um, if they're selecting the correct white balance or not. And most of the people shoot an auto, which is, which is fine, and you can fix that in post-processing. Um, it's, it's not that complicated. Anyway, in Lightroom 3, you have this option here for white balance. And it says, this thing right here, it says white balance selector. So you pick this and you basically go over something that is white. And sometimes you don't necessarily get everything all white, but all you have to do is if you look on the screen, there's a small like a square window it'll say RGB. And what you want to do is that you want to match those numbers as close as possible. Um, I mean it doesn't have again, the number could be 56, 56, 50 five or fifty seven or it could be ninety it could be basically you're not look there's not a specific number you're looking for all you want to do is that match those three numbers as close as possible all right so all right as I'm moving this around oops sorry I pressed it by mistake control Z and that would undo it so I'll go back and select it all right so here all right, I'm looking at it, it says 98, 98, 97, which is pretty close. I'm, I'm just going to see if I can find something even closer. Um, if not, it's not a big deal. All right, so just bear with me. Ninety-nine, ninety-nine, ninety-seven. Oh, I could find something closer. I mean, th believe me, this this will work as well. I'm just I'm doing it for you guys just to give you an example. You know what? I'm I'm just gonna go with I'm just gonna select something. All right, this. All right, this looks good. Ninety. 98.9, 98.9, and 97.8. So this should be okay. So just press that, and it will change your white balance. Now to give you an idea, you basically have to go before and after. Close this, close this. So Lightroom 3 is telling you that this here is your correct white balance. Now you could do this manually as well, just by changing the temperature. As I'm doing it, you can see this. But sometimes, sometimes people are not too sure what they're selecting if it's correct or not. But look, if you select this, it's yeah, it does have a bit more of a bluish tone, but it still looks all right. This looks all right to me. This even looks all right to me. So don't spend too much time on matching all these numbers exactly the same because it's not. It's uh, it's very um, rare that you find everything like all three numbers. You know, are the same. Um, if you do, you know, it's great, but, you know, don't go nuts spending, you know, five minutes trying, trying to fix that. I sometimes don't even use this. Sometimes I just go and do my custom white balance um, based on whatever look I'm going for. All right. So here's your quick tutorial. And if you have any requests, um, just let me know. Till next time. See you guys later.